In our effort to help animals find a forever home, we're partnered with the Chautauqua County Humane Society in our Pet of the Week segment. Joining us live is Brian Papalea to talk more about this week's featured furry friend. And it uh, looks like, Brian, we might have a, a good set of uh, young felines to talk about today. Yeah, we actually have, we have quite a few kittens that have been coming in recently to the Humane Society. We had uh, just yesterday, there was two moms and 10 kittens that came in. They'll be up for adoption soon. And we've got uh, right now, I'm going to say 10 kittens in here. A few of them are just, uh, they're heading up to our event at the Chautauqua Mall tomorrow. They're, so they're just getting uh, ready for that trip. Absolutely. And I know that that uh, opportunity, I think, really is important, especially, you know, with the last year of not being able to have people maybe physically in, you know, they say a Saturday afternoon, the family loads up and says, let's go get a kitten. They come down and they visit. Be being at the mall, you're able to bring them to an open air space and, and show them off. How, how important is that partnership to, to be able to, to be in, in a public location like that? Well, the partnership at the mall is fantastic because along with um, the adoption by appointment situation, it's also just a different traffic space, you know, because we're all the way over here on Strunk Road. And to be in a little more kind of uh, available to people up in Lakewood gives us that opportunity to reach that audience. And then uh, something I will say, though, is with the cats specifically, we do are continuing the Catterday um Things that we've been doing on Saturdays where from 11 to 3, folks can stop down without making an appointment and uh, check out uh, some cats and meet them. And... Ooh, a little action going on in the background there. <laughs> <laughs> it's always something, I think, uh, happening uh, with, these, with these little furry guys. Oh, boy, it looks like uh, I could just jump right in there and take a nap. Um, <laughs> yeah. Any Anything uh, somebody should know if they're gearing up to come down to the mall or even the Catterday event tomorrow? What should they prepare uh, if they do want to adopt an animal? Well, if they're looking to adopt a kitten, it's just one of those things where um, adopting a kitten is a lot different than adopting an older cat because they're more adaptable to the situations, you know, when it comes to kids and other animals and stuff like that. Um, just making sure they're ready to make that commitment and when you come down, um, like say for Catterday here at the shelter, you just call and say that you're here and then there's the adoption application. And of course the conversation to make sure everybody's gonna be happy and things are gonna fit. Um, at the mall tomorrow, it won't just be kittens. Um, there's gonna be kittens, some older cats, there's gonna be a bunny and there's gonna be uh, three dogs at last we knew. So that's gonna be quite a, quite a grouping of animals out there looking for homes. Absolutely. And uh, I, I know you guys have an incredible website. It's chqhumane.org uh, where you can actually go in and see uh, sort of a, if you will, a live look at, at who's available for adoption in many cases. Uh, read about the animals, see a picture. And if you see something you like, I imagine the whole point is to uh, set up a time or go on a Saturday and see them for real. Yeah. And uh, what's really cool is when they're looking at the the pets on the website the adoption application is right below the pet's picture so if you want to get that jump start on that you just uh, scroll down fill out that application and you're you know you're on a good start to get your get your pet absolutely are so again uh, to learn more about any of our friends uh, either the beautiful little kittens or uh, some of our older felines as well and dogs too you can log on to chqhumane.org or give them a call if the website's not for you 716-665-2209 so uh, brian thank you so much for taking us on this uh tour this friday ahead of the holiday weekend i hope you have a a great one and uh, good luck tomorrow with the events thank you justin <laughs>